Hi everyone, it's Maribel, and I'm here with my friend Lydia today, and we're going to be talking about food. Thanks, Lydia, for having this conversation with me today. Thanks for calling. I appreciate it. It's good to see you. Yeah, it's great to see you too. So, Lydia, what are some of your favorite foods? Let's start with the the I guess most commonly asked question about favorite foods. So I love I love fruit a lot. I love strawberries. I love watermelon. Um, at, for di- for foods like dinner times, our family we love spaghetti. Um, I love a great salad. How about you? What do you like? Oh, I'm with you on the fruit. I love fruit. I think we try to eat fruit every day. And um, I especially love the summertime because you can have fruits like watermelons and mangoes. And I was actually just, um, I bought some papaya this week, which I'm very excited to eat. I haven't cut it open yet, but I, I love tropical fruit as well. And salad, I, I'm so glad you mentioned salad because I love salad too. I like, and I like fruit in my salad. So <laughs> what fruit do you like to have in your salad? So I usually do a base of greens, either like spinach and some other greens mixed in, but primarily spinach and kale are the main um, elements and lettuce sometimes. And then I like to add in strawberries, or um, I'll cut up apples into pieces and put apples in there. Um, I guess tomatoes are considered a fruit, so I love tomatoes in a salad. But um, usually if I'm doing like a sweet salad, I'll do strawberries or apples and um, maybe a little bit of cheese in there. Have your tastes in food changed? Are there things that maybe you didn't like when you were uh, younger that you do like now? Most definitely. Um, As a kid, I did not like vegetables at all. And I think that was because of how they were cooked when I was little. And so many of the vegetables when I was younger were cooked too long. But now that I've watched a lot of cooking shows and practiced a lot, I really love vegetables. And my husband has introduced me to many. just even basics like carrots and peas and broccoli are like, I love those at dinner time with our meals. How about you? Yeah, I think um, I love vegetables too. And I think when I was younger, I agree with you. I think that the way they're cooked makes such a difference. So what are some ways that you cook them now that um, make them taste so much better? I like most vegetables I prefer roasted. I really enjoy, even if it's a little olive oil with some salt and pepper or some garlic in there, Mm -hmm. um, is always super yummy. Um, I don't necessarily boil my vegetables anymore, uh, but as a mom, I do microwave uh, (laughs) as well. I just make sure I don't microwave them too long. Yeah, keep a little crunch to them. We actually are going to have a garden this summer and try to grow our own vegetables. That sounds fun. Um, and, and, and eat food. that and see, you know, I, I like tomatoes, but I love fresh tomatoes from the garden. It, it makes a difference. Yeah. We had, that's the only thing we planted in our garden. I, actually, tomatoes and peppers. Okay. In our, last summer. And they, it does make a difference. They taste delicious. And they, and one plant can make so many. Mm-hmm. It's such an easy way to bring some fresh veggies in. Yeah. It was also really nice for the kids to, I think they ate it with more joy when they went out and picked it from the garden and brought it in and washed it and, you know, the full cycle. Agreed. Do you ever grow um, herbs to flavor food? Yeah, I actually have a, a series of little small pots on my windowsill. Oh, so nice. I have um, basil, and which right now actually has died, but I, I will usually keep a basil plant there. Um, mint, mint grows very okay. well and can spread a lot. So I have a lot of mint. And um, sometimes I'll have oregano too, because I like cooking with oregano. What kind of meals do you have around holidays? Um, so I mentioned tamales at Christmas, which usually yeah. is good for Christmas morning with some of um, And then uh, usually like Christmas Eve, we'll do probably um, a ham or something. I don't think there's any like traditional um, other than tamales that we do, but um, 
usually it's a spicier version of uh, a meal. Spicier uh, than tamales? Well, yeah. Well, for like a Christmas Eve dinner where there'll be, you know, if it's a a meat dish, it'll usually be spicy. And so, well, and for our family, it's not too spicy because I don't okay. eat as much spicy spices as uh, my husband or other members of my family. But and the kids are like everything mild. But uh, uh, I like spice though. Yeah, spice. And um, and then at Thanksgiving, I think we've been trying to, I mean, for many, many years, we usually have uh, a traditional Thanksgiving turkey. Um, and for when we still lived in Texas, we would have, you know, pretty big family gatherings. So we would have multiple turkeys and each turkey would be seasoned differently. And so we would have, you know, like the the traditional butter and sage kind of um spices and then like the the spicy hot turkey and then one that maybe my brother would usually smoke a turkey so you'd have a oh, nice. range of um turkey flavors yeah that sounds amazing i would love to go to your house at thanksgiving when you have when we get a chance to have such a big you know gathering again oh, i know i i miss the big gatherings right That's have you yeah given food out as gifts before and what do you prefer to do, make or give? Um, yeah, I think, well, I have not tried doing cinnamon rolls, but I usually like to, if I'm going to give food, I like to do things that either I feel really confident about my recipe in. So I probably will do like cookies um, or it'll be something that I made like in a big batch. And sometimes it's centered around a holiday. So for example, I might gift tamales because um, there are traditional Mexican food around Christmas time. And usually because they take a lot of work, yeah. you, you make them in very large batches. And so when you make, you know, 200 tamales, it's really hard to eat 200 of anything. So it's, it's a nice thing to give away to people. And it's something that you don't eat every day. So um, yeah, I've, I've done that before and that's been nice. Although up here, it's harder to find the ingredients for making uh, locally, find the ingredients locally for making tamales. So in the past, I've had to either bring them with me when we could travel um, or my mom or my mother-in-law will ship me um, some of the ingredients so that I'm able to make them here. Are there other desserts that you enjoy either making or eating? I, yes, I love lots of desserts. Too much. Um, I love chocolate. Anything with chocolate. Um, at home with my family, we'll make brownies pretty quickly. Um, but uh, yeah, we're, uh, for Christmas, we make actually a homemade chocolate sauce, like a, gra a grandmother's recipe. Oh, nice. um, I like anything ice cream. So we actually have learned how to make ice cream with the ice cream machine and learned how and it always tastes so good when it's homemade. Yes, I love homemade ice cream. And I'm so impressed that you make your own chocolate sauce. So are there, uh, uh, so you mentioned that's a special recipe passed down from your grandmother. Is that something that uh, you learned when you were younger, how to make with her? I didn't learn it with my mother, but my dad taught it to me and my dad made it. Um, my dad was actually a, a cook and he has taught me how to make homemade applesauce and lemon meringue pie. And he just has some dishes from when he grew up in South Carolina as a little boy that he wanted to learn from his mom and then he's passing it down. That's so nice. So how about you? Liz? Did you ever learn any dishes that were passed on in your family? And what were they? Yeah, I think, you know, cooking was always something that um, was just a regular part of our, our every day. And usually, you know, I would, and my mom was, one thing, I was a really good cook. And um, she's also a really fast cook, I will say. Okay. So she's like moving and doing things. And there's a lot of things happening. Um, and so I would try to watch and, you know, help as much as I could. So I was slicing a lot and kind of watching. Um, but now that I'm older, I can call her and ask her. So sometimes it wasn't that I learned it when I was younger, but I watched and I, you know, and I know the dishes that I like, and then I can call her and say, okay, I'm doing, I'm making this. How, you know, what should I do here? 
Um, and she's really good about walking me through it. But one thing that um, we did learn, and I did learn from her together, and that she's also taught my kids is how to make um, flour tortillas. So that's been really nice. Oh, that's awesome. um, that's great. Make, yeah, to make homemade flour tortillas. And my mother-in-law has also done that with my girls. So they they have done have made um, homemade flour tortillas now many times, and they they really enjoy making them, and they really enjoy eating them. That reminds me that my grandmother, um, because she knows my kids were little and didn't have a, you know, didn't couldn't pay attention for a really long time. She wanted to share being in the kitchen with them. And so she would take dough that she already made and just would decorate cookies with them. Or just just to get used to being in the kitchen and sharing a moment together with food didn't necessarily mean making something from scratch. Mm -hmm. It was about just being together and then so make, making something together and, and creating the memory. Yeah, um, making the food so, memory. Exactly. Yeah, that's very nice. Now, are, are you allergic to any foods by chance? Thankfully, I am not. Not that I know of. So, but um, that's always something that, you know, especially with kids that I, you, you kind of, you don't know what they're allergic to. So it, it's always a, I remember thinking that I have to be careful about it. But thankfully, we haven't had any food allergies. But how about you? I'm not allergic to anything, but my daughter is allergic to peanuts and uh, some other nuts. So we are careful in what we make um, because we want to have nuts in our family, but household, but we'll like put it in a bowl. So if you want to put nuts on a salad, we have it separated. So that way my daughter can still enjoy salad. Um, a funny story is my other daughter kept telling everybody she's allergic to eggs because she did not like eggs. <laughs> so then she stopped getting muffins and cake at school, like or, or birthday cake, because they thought she was allergic. Uh huh. So we had to, she was very upset when she couldn't have dessert with friends because she told everyone she was allergic to eggs oh, that's funny. so you have to be careful when you tell people what you're allergic to <laughs> yeah so that would have to be true yeah so with your daughter being allergic to peanuts does that change your shopping habits in any way too um it does i actually always buy alternatives for my daughter especially like snacks and make sure that she doesn't feel left out of choices that maybe my other daughter can that doesn't have allergies. Um, I make sure that we will, we just find joys in uh, food in other ways, but I don't make like peanut butter cookies or anything like that. Like I, I try to be thoughtful and yeah. yeah. So with grocery shopping, do you enjoy it? Or do you have any special habits that you do when you grocery shop? When I was younger, without children, I love cutting coupons, and I love saving a lot of money. Um, now, as a parent, I love shopping when I'm by myself, because I don't get a lot of alone time. But when I am with kids, my when I'm with kids, I try to only bring one so I can spend time listening to them and having giving them some one-on-one -on -one time while we shop around and make take advantage of the time together that we can and still get something done. Um, so That's great. That's a great idea. You get some special one-on-one -on -one time and you accomplish a, a needed task for the day. Exactly. So do you always make a list when you shop. We do. I, and I don't totally stick to it. Because I do get, I have learned I can't go grocery shopping when I'm hungry. Or I will always buy more than that's on the list. But I try very hard to stick to the list. Um, I also, the best lists are when I plan three or four dinners in advance with the intention that the fifth dinner, it, I call it must go night. This must go, that must go. And oh, it's I love all that. <laughs> 
it's the leftovers from all the other nights where, and anyone can have whatever they want out of what must go. Um, and so it, it's always nice to have that planned. We only go grocery shopping once a week, typically, because we're just busy. How about you? How many times do you shop usually a week? Um, I usually shop once every, well, okay, my shopping habits have changed now with the pandemic. So it mm-hmm. used to be regularly once a week. Um, and I would usually try to go during the week just because it's less crowded, if I could. Um, now I try to go less often and I will go maybe once every two weeks and then buy more, um, stock up a little bit more so that I don't have to go as often. And so I usually have a list, but I also find that we buy, I've enjoyed seeing how spreading it out more has showed me that I usually buy the same things. And so um, it's easier now because I know, okay, I'm getting this, 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 and I can kind of visually have my list. Um, And so that makes it a little bit easier. But I love your idea of meal planning and buying around a meal plan because usually I'm the opposite where I say, okay, we need these ingredients. And I will open the fridge and say, what should I make for dinner with the things that are there versus the other way around? So I might have to try the meal plan. Well, Lydia, this has been really fun catching up with you and and having a conversation around food. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. It's good to see you. Great to see you too. We'll talk to you soon. Sounds good. Bye-bye now. Bye.